All right, so if I seemed a little bit out of it and delirious in the last video, it's gonna be even more obvious in this one because that one was filmed at 2 a.m. and now it's 4.30. But you know what? I didn't really have a choice because the Dokkan Twitter page just won't stop announcing new things before it was the tech hit EZA. And now it's a brand new LR Super Saiyan God Goku and hit. So uh, yeah, the next LR on JP guys is Super Saiyan God Goku and hit. Now before anybody gets mad at the title of this video, just keep in mind that it is a personal opinion. And um, before I you know, say anything more about it, let's just watch the animations for this unit together. And uh, then I'll give you guys my thoughts. Okay, so I'm gonna pause my video here and let's full screen this. And uh, yeah, I won't say anything, just watch it for yourselves, make your own conclusions, and then we'll discuss. Here we go. Son Goku, you are still growing. I will not be able to lose. This is the real fight of the real. Okay, so that is... Uh, or those are the animations for the Super Saiyan God Goku and Hit. And um, as you can tell, I mean, obviously it's a new animation style that they're going for. It doesn't really look like anything else we've seen in the game up to this point. And when I first saw it, you know, when I watched it for the first time in bed, I was like, it, it looks different, but it's not bad. You know, it's like... Pretty cool, I guess, that they're trying something unique, I guess, you know, a different style or, you know, I'm not really like an artsy person. Um, it looks like maybe it's like more computer, like more CGI or something like that. I don't really know, man, honestly. I, I don't know what the exact style is called or what they did, but it's different, right? It's not really like the anime. Um, but the more I watched it, you know, I watched it a second time. I watched it a third time just to like really form my opinion about it and the more I watched it the less I liked it man and right now like <laughs> it's weird like usually when new animations come out they're always instantly in the top five animations in the game or at least top 10 or something like that right? like they're always just like really good like they've been on a really hot streak of releasing just fire animations. And this one just kind of missed the mark, man. I, I, honestly, like, I can't really say this gets me going. Now, luckily, the actual unit is fantastic. Like, they're very powerful. But, ah, man, the animations just, they don't light that fire under me. You know, like, I just, I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling, maybe if I watch it, like, ten more times, it'll eventually grow on me. But <laughs> at this point in time, at 4.30... 4 a.m. Eastern on October 19th, 2021. Um, I don't like the man. I don't, I do not like these animations. I don't like this style. I really hope they don't continue using it for future units because it's just not, it's not good, man. It might just be me, you know? Like, I mean, I, I made a post on Twitter and it seems like a lot of people actually share this opinion. So it's not just me. But I know there's people out there that do like it, and if that's the case for you, man, that's cool. You know, if you if it makes you want to go for the unit, if it makes you want to wail out for it or whatever, which you probably shouldn't, but um, if you want to, then more power to you, right? Like, that's cool, but 
for me, it doesn't work. It just does not, does not work. Now with that said, let's uh, talk about <laughs> what this unit actually does. Um, because like I said, really, really strong unit. Uh, shout out to Goresh once again. I can't believe he's still up. But uh, yeah, he made the translations very quickly about like 20 minutes after they dropped on Twitter. So thank you once again, Goresh. Uh, it's an STR unit, so it's Hit and Super Saiyan God Goku, Super Light Speed Battle Outburst. Leader skill, High Speed Battle, which is a brand new category, and Universe Survival Saga, key plus 4. HP attack and defense plus 150%. Uh, 12 key super attack, Goku and Hit's joint front, raises attack and defense for one turn, causes colossal damage with a high chance to stun the enemy, and then... The 18 key super is super high speed combination, greatly raises attack and defense for one turn, causes mega cost of damage with a high chance to stun the enemy. And the quote for this super is uh, interesting to say the least. So Hit says, Goku, I don't need your help. And Goku says, hee hee hee, my body's throbbing. It's a little sus. <laughs> Just a little bit. Anyways, moving on. Passive, high speed advantage, attack and defense plus 170%. So that's just right off the bat. Very good. Gains key plus 6 and an additional attack and defense plus 60%. And uh, attacks guaranteed to hit and disabled enemy's guard. Or sorry, disables enemy's guard and gains a high chance to evade enemy attacks as the first or second attacker in a turn. So in the first or second slot, they get the additional key boost. Attack and defense boost, guaranteed hit, disables enemy's guard, and then high chance to dodge. So that's a 50% chance to dodge uh, in those first two slots. And then in the third slot, gain key plus 7, additional attack plus 70%, and performs an additional attack that has a medium chance of becoming a super attack as the third attacker in a turn. So essentially, if you're in the first or second slot, you're more of a defensive unit, even though you're still going to do good damage. And then if you're in the uh, third slot, you are a much more offensive unit because you get more attack even though you get less defense but you also get that additional attack with a medium chance to become a super attack so it's really up to you depending on how you want to use this unit if you want to be a little bit more offensive or a little bit more defensive but of course if you want to keep the unit uh coming back regularly and you'll have them in the first or second slot. And of course, the good thing is that they get that attack and defense plus 170% unconditionally. So they are going to be a pretty good first slot unit just because, you know, they're getting defense before the attack, right? Which is an issue with a lot of units these days. But uh, that's not an issue for them. So that's good. And then their active skill is ever growing combo condition. Able to be used after three super attacks are launched. And HP is 76% or below once only. So obviously the uh, whole, you know, X number of super attacks launched is never a great condition. But in this case, not too bad. Only three supers. And because they do have that, you know, medium chance for an additional super attack as a third attacker. In theory, in theory, you could get that on their first appearance, right? If you have like hidden potential investment. And they get a you know their first super and then through the passive they get a second super and then through their hidden potential they get a su third super then yeah in one turn you could get those three supers you need and then 76 percent hp or below is also not hard to achieve and uh, the ability is gains attack and defense plus 13 percent during battle so basically um it looks like to me they get that attack and defense boost permanently for the rest of the fight which is pretty powerful and uh from there we have their links tournament of power experienced fighters cold judgment in fighter shocking speed fierce battle legendary power and categories are high speed battle universe survival saga joint forces and legendary existence obviously when it comes to you know these uh joint forces characters they're not gonna be in a lot of categories just because they don't share a lot of like commonalities right like it can't be in pure saiyans because you got hit there uh you can't get you know like hit specific categories because goku's there so it's always a little bit iffy uh in terms of like how many teams they can fit on but um yeah i mean on something like universe of saga or 
against their new category, High Speed Battle, they're going to be pretty strong. Uh, their their passive's kind of basic. It's kind of, uh, I guess, just, you could say boring, but it's very good because you do get a huge attack and defense boost. You do have that high chance to dodge. Um, and then, you know, as a third attacker, you can potentially launch three supers. And then their active skill, active skill is easy to get, or, or relatively easy to get, and also it's a really strong ability. So there's really nothing not to like about this unit, man, aside from the animations to me, you know? Once again, it's, it's just a personal preference kind of thing. Like, maybe some people like it. Uh, I personally don't. Uh, I know a lot of people don't like it. I've seen, you know what, the perfect description was a response to that post I made where someone was like this looks to me like a low budget filler episode of the anime like maybe they outsourced it to a different studio or something <laughs> and it's just not as good of a studio that's what it looks like. like like parts of it are cool I think the aura is cool for Goku um but like the movement just looks so awkward you know like it's just not really I don't know, man. It's not really up to the standard of what we're used to these days. That's that's all I'm going to say. Um, I'm not going to complain about it too much just because, you know, like, I think I've made my point. <laughs> but, yeah. Um, a little bit disappointed by, by the animations for sure. But the unit itself, once again, man, like I said, very strong, very powerful. Uh, I'm sure they're going to put out some really big damage numbers. And uh, defensively, they should be very, very solid as well. So, yeah, there you go, man. LR's percent got Goku and hit. Uh, I, feel free to let me know your opinions in the comments, uh, what you think about them. You know, not just the animations, of course, but like what you think about them as a unit. Do you think they're good or not? And that's all I gotta say, man. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the TAM video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.